Today we're going to show you how to rebuild the Model 3500 Perfect Sensor. This video also applies to rebuilding the 3300HT Insertion and 3400HT Retractable Sensors. Before you start to rebuild the sensor, make sure that the sensor is pulled out of the process pipe or tank. The sensor should be rinsed off from all process liquids and dried off by gently patting dry. To rebuild the sensor, you will need the following. Perfex pH sensor, Perfex rebuild kit, water in a beaker for rinsing, small screwdriver, squirt bottle. First of all, the blue cap on the front of the sensor should be removed. Then, the white Teflon junction and O-rings can be removed, exposing the electrolyte chamber with electrolyte. The electrolyte may have been discolored from the process liquid, so it might not be the same color as you see here. Remove the electrolyte from the electrolyte chamber by shaking it out or wiping it out. Don't be afraid to use a small screwdriver to assist you with this step. If possible, rinse any remaining electrolyte out of the chamber, making sure to remove all or most of the electrolyte. You might want to swirl it around in the rinse water beaker, use a squirt bottle, or a nearby sink. Fill the electrolyte chamber up with fresh electrolyte solution found in the Perf-X Rebuild Kit. Make sure the electrolyte is filled to the top of the chamber. Gently tap the sensor to remove air bubbles from the electrolyte. The large o-ring is placed against the chamber as a seal. The smaller o-ring is placed on the inside of the junction to seal against the glass. Place a new junction with o-rings onto the front of the chamber. Install the blue cap back onto the sensor, hand tightening only. Some electrolyte may leak out. Simply rinse off and wipe up with a soft cloth or tissue. This is how the sensor looks after rebuilding it. And that's how you rebuild a 3300HT, a 3400HT, or a 3500 Perfect Sensor. Please remember, before the sensor goes back into service, you must recalibrate the sensor. For pH calibration information, please view your instrument instruction manual or view the pH calibration instructional video.